Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we are heading back to the Americas for another World Circuit Challenge. We have done all of the circuits and got gold on everything at the moment with the exception of the Michelin Road Atlanta. Here we need to do three full races. This is a new track to me that I am not uh, overly used to. So let's get into this one and see how we do. The topic of this, this video is going to be the American FR Challenge 550. I will remind you that we are still on the normal settings, as you can see there. So let's get into the American FR Challenge 550. We are going to need to change our car. Uh, I'm going to go with the, ooh, what should we do? I'm going to go with the Shelby just because it's got my new livery on it. It's a bit overpowered at 632 instead of 550. Uh, but uh, that's where we're at. We're on three laps. So let's go with the racing soft tyre, which I know is going to push the PP up a little bit more. But hey ho. Uh, the game allows you to do it. So we're going to do it. With regards to the tuning, uh, racing softs, Suspension is normal, differential is normal, everything in here is pretty much normal and I haven't really done very much to this car at all at this stage. So it's a pretty much a bulk standard Mustang. Let's see how it does around this particular track. So this is the FR American Challenge 550, Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta. Three laps, let's get to it. Okay, so we don't need to worry about fuel saving on this one, so I'm just going to stick with the radar. And I did say that we were new to this track. Uh, I've just realized that I have run this on one of the daily races a while ago. It was, it was quite a while ago. So we do know this track, but that was with a very different car. We were doing that with the Subaru WRX. And this Mustang is very, very loose on the back end. I think I might have been better off using the Cosworth, which we're about to come up against. That may well have been a bit better balanced around here. So at the moment, I'm just feeling my way through this traffic and around the track, and then I will just tell you how I'm doing but of course as always you can easily pause rewind and slow down the video if you want to analyze how I'm racing for yourself now I'm an average driver so yes if you want the perfect lap then there are other channels you can go and look at but as an average racer I'm just recording and putting out into the big wide world what I do and how I race and that seems to be helping quite a few of you so I'm going to continue to do it now we're on normal settings as usual but we're already up into first place lap two of three so I think that this car will probably be okay in uh, the hard I might have got a corner cut there I think I had all four wheels over the yellow bit or oh, slightly off the track there this Mustang is actually quite a handful around here and we're going to go around full 360 come on can we still bring this home second place car is right there like I said not the cleanest and most tidiest of races just second through here trying to pick up the curve for a good exit flat all the way down here now my braking zone at the bottom is very different to that of the Subaru and I went a little bit deep last time so we're going to break there's a little black mark in the track there that I broke on that was quite good so before 
the first of the marketing boards there. Just be brave all the way through there. Just feather in a little bit, whoa. A little bit of oversteer through there. Fourth all the way through there, up in the fifth. Breaking at the beginning of that tarmac area. Down into third, again, back end coming around. Maybe I could do that in fourth. Just gonna leave it in fourth as we go across the top here, getting it break in a straight line. Try and take a bit of that yellow curve there. Just fourth all the way down through here. Ride this curve in a straight line whilst breaking into third. Take, takes the curve there. Oh, and I've gone around again. Not good. So that's two 360s in this one. This car certainly not liking that curb there, so we'll just give these curbs a bit of a, uh, a bit of respect. We'll just slide through there as well. I think if you're going to do this on normal settings and you've got it, I would go with the Sierra RS Cosworth around here. I would welcome your preferred cars to do this particular one for other people. Uh, some other suggestions. This uh, Mustang is a bit of a handful around here. Bearing in mind I haven't really done much to the car, it's pretty standard. I think it needs a bit of work to do on it to make it a little bit uh, better, but there we go. Gold, two 360 spins. Not the cleanest of races, but that is gold. And that was the Shelby GT350R. And interestingly, that Sierra RS500 Cosworth came in second place. I think that would probably be my, be my choice of car in the future. But we have got fastest lap as well. I don't think we would have got a clean race. But we did get the gold trophy, 37,000 credits. No clean race. It was a bit scrappy. But it's all about getting the trophy as quickly as possible. So there we have it. The first of the three races at this particular track in the Shelby Mustang in our new livery, which looks really, really nice. Having to adjust it between the, the different cars. I've got it on the BMW, the Mustang, and I think I've got it on the WRX at the moment. Uh, the WRX has got different colors as well. I might be mixing those up a, a, a little bit. Uh, but if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It really does help and I value all my subscribers. And thanks again to all of those people that are subscribed and back watching for more. I really do appreciate you. For now, I'm going to leave this one here. I'm going to wish you well and I'll see you again on another video coming very soon. Take care. Bye bye.